Hi everybody, I'm Louis Rogowski and uh, this is my midterm project. Uh, the cancer I selected is melanoma skin cancer. Now, melanoma is a very rare but serious form of cancer that is the cause of the majority of skin cancer related deaths. 160,000 new cases of melanoma are diagnosed each year. Now, worldwide, the number of deaths a can that number of deaths a year is 48,000. That's almost 132 people a day who die from this cancer. But let's go into a little more detail about what melanoma is. Now, skin cancer is a malignant tumor which can be seen as a growth on the surface of the skin. Uh, this is a good thing because if you catch it in its early stages, you'll have a higher survival chance. Now, this cancer is caused for a variety of reasons. The most common reason is exposure. People located in areas of high UV and UVB exposure, such as Florida, Hawaii, and Australia, get more sunlight than other areas. With damage to the ozone layer, more ultraviolet rays get in, increasing the chance of skin cancer. The sun is not the only source of these dangerous rays. Other such sources are tanning boots, which expose you to UV and UVB light. Now, UV and UVB rays can cause damage to DNA in cells, particularly thiamine dimerization, which, if left unrepaired, can cause a mutation in the cell's genes, which will then be passed on to future generations. Now, this can affect the rate of mitosis in a cell, causing them to multiply at an incredible rate, causing homeostasis in the mitosis to fit and to destabilize. This will eventually form a tumor, which will then spread to the rest of the body, resulting in possible death. And this form of tumor, which I'm researching, is called skin cancer. Melanoma skin cancer, to be specific. So avoiding such areas like, as avoiding such areas like Hawaii, Florida, and Australia, along with tanning boots, can decrease your risk of attending this kind of cancer. Now, this is actually surprising, but the more moles you have, the greater chance you have for getting this form of ca skin cancer. Uh, for some reason, this happens. I can't seem to get a clear answer on this on this why this is, but scientists have somehow linked this to skin, uh, to skin cancer. Now, another issue is family hereditary can cause a greater risk of getting melanoma skin cancer. If someone has had this form of cancer in your family, like father, mother, uncle, brother, etc., uh, there is a chance that you are susceptible to the cancer as well. Uh, you come from a family prone to this cancer, meaning you have a higher chance of getting melanoma. Also, another factor is your childhood. Now, if you were badly burned when you were a kid, that could contribute to the risk factor of getting skin cancer. Scientists link this to skin cancer. Uh, the more you were burned, the, mo the more your risk factor goes up. That also depends on how bad the burn was, stuff like that. Uh, other risks are if you have a weakened immune system, if you have just had surgery or an organ transplant, uh, you are also susceptible. And, uh, of course, if you have AIDS, which destroys your immune system, you also have a very high chance of getting skin cancer. Now, there are four types of melanoma skin cancer. The first type we're going to talk about is called superficial spreading melanoma, SSM for short. Uh, this type of melanoma accounts for a grand total of 70% of all reported cases. Now, this cancer is normally found diagnosed in young people. It starts out on the surface of the skin, slowly begins to penetrate the first few layers of skin after a fairly long time. And after it reaches a certain point, it will then spread to the rest of the body and eventually result in death from, tu from the f growing tumors. Now, you can identify this form of melanoma cancer fairly easily. Now, when it first appears, a patch of flat raised skin that is discolored and its borders should be erratic. Uh, this form of melanoma also appears in a variety of colors. Colors can vary from tan, black, red, brown, or white. Uh, the location of this cancer can appear pretty much anywhere on the body, the arms, the legs, the back, the head, pretty much anywhere. Alright, the second type of melanoma cancer is known as lentigo Maligna. I'm going to say that wrong, but it's a science term. All right, this is similar to SSM in many ways, such as appearance, colors, and it starts out on the skin and slowly moves deeper, just like SSM. The only real problem difference is the age group it affects. Uh, this cancer tends to affect older people. It is often found on the severely damaged 
sun er severely sun damaged areas of the body, such as the face, ears, arms, and upper trunk. Uh, it is most common in Hawaii and Florida. Yeah. Well, it's just another reason to convince old people not to go to Florida. <laughs> All right. Um, the third type of cancer is known as arcal lentiginous melanoma. Now, this form of melanoma spreads the same way as the other two. However, it is significantly different in what it looks like and where it appears. Uh, the usual discoloration for this form of melanoma is brown or black. However, this one is found located under the fingernails, on the soles of feet, and on the palms of hands, unlike the others. Uh, it doesn't appear to be able to form on hair-bearing surfaces. Studies show it's, it does not appear to be linked to the sun exposure either, which is unusual. Uh, this form of melanoma is most common in Asians and Africans. However, some Caucasians can have it, but that is uncommon. It is. It can also affect pretty much all ages. Young or old, doesn't matter. The fourth and final form of melanoma cancer is nodule melanoma. This is the most aggressive, fast-growing form of melanoma. When it's first diagnosed, there is a strong probability of it being invasive. It can be recognized when it becomes a bump on the skin. Uh, its discoloration is usually black. However, in some cases, it has been gray, blue, red, brown, or tan. It is usually located on the legs, arms, or trunk, in the, and in some cases, the scalp of, a bold, of balding people. Uh, it usually affects older people and has been found in 10 to 15 percent of every single reported case. Now, like all cancers, this one has stages. After, a, however, after a certain point, removing the tumor might not make any difference where it might have spread throughout the body. All right, level one, the tumor is localized to the surface of the epidermis. At level two, the melanoma has penetrated the surface of the epidermis and has reached the layer directly below it, the papillary dermis. At this point, the tumor is less than, about a, less than a millimeter thick. Now, at level three, the melanoma fill, filled that layer and impinges on the next layer called the uh, reticular dermis. The tumor is at 1.01 millimeters to 2.0 millimeters at this, t at this point. Now at level 4, the melanoma penetrated the reticular dermis, or deep dermis as some people call it. The tumor is at now at a grand total a size of 2.0 millimeters to 4.0 millimeters. It depends on how fast it's growing. Now, at level five, the subcutaneous cutaneous fat. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, but that's how I pronounce it. Uh, then the tumor will spread throughout the body, and the tumor is now as big as 4.0 millimeters. The corrupted DNA cells are spread throughout the body. More tumors form, and uh, the person with this is pretty messed up. But the prognosis always depends on how early they catch it, or if it has spread throughout the body. If it has spread throughout the body, the chances decrease of survival dramatically. Alright, well the good news is diagnosis for this cancer is relatively simple. If you find what you believe to be a suspicious mole, you should, uh, and what you believe to be skin cancer, you should go to the doctor. After a visual examination and a dermat scopic exam, the doctor might recommend a biopsy on the mole to determine if it is cancerous. If it is cancerous, the doctor will recommend that you go to a surgeon or a dermatologist. Now, the tumor must be removed immediately to prevent it from spreading. Now, uh, the only real problem with this procedure is that it could be hard to identify it, for, uh, for it could resemble a normal mole at its early stages. So, if you still have concerns, See, if you still have concerns, and if the doctor says, you know, like, it's not, a, it's not like, cancerous or anything like that, if you still have concerns, go see a, a professional for absolute certainty. In conclusion, uh, melanoma is a very rare form of skin cancer and can be hard to kill if not treated early. Uh, also take steps to prevent extreme sun exposure and keep an eye out for unusual moles or discoloration. Whenever you're out, like, on the beach or something, wear, like, uh, sunblock, that'll also decrease your chance. And uh, you, you do this, you should be fine. Well, I hope you enjoyed this presentation, and goodbye.